Hi class, this is Jawad Ali and today I'm going to talk about uh, the major threats uh, to cyber security. There are a lot of threats to the cyber security and there are a lot of holes and uh, in our system but i'm gonna talk only some of them not all of them i will also explain the some uh, more terms learn about the cyber security the first thing i'm gonna explain is the uh, some of the terms and uh, let's start from here okay privacy and the cyber security so what is the privacy the privacy is often defined as having the ability to protect sensitive information about personally identifiable information while protection is really a security component and uh, about the cyber security uh, we typically define the cyber security as a protection against unauthorized access with some uh, there's a, some something like uh, you are working in a network and somebody wants to take a control of that network without your permission so that's uh, you are protecting that network that's referred as cyber security okay cyber crime versus cyber criminal Okay, the cyber crime, the cyber crime is itself a hacker stealer or somebody who is going to steal the uh, information or data or who is going to breach the information or anything that is called the cyber crime. But if you are, we are going to, if we are going into a definition that could be a crime in which computer device is targeted, for example, gaining access to any network is, uh, is a cyber crime and uh, there's an other definition for the cyber crime that is a crime in which the computer is used as a weapon for example or uh, denial of services or any attack and we can say another example for this crime in which the computer is used as an uh, accessory to a crime like uh, using a computer to store illegal leaked data like we hack the data or we get an illegal documentation or any illegal um uh, illegal data and we are going to store that data on our computer so that's also gonna refer to a criminal activity okay so cyber criminal so criminal are the individual or the person or the are those guys who is going to do all the perform all these malicious activities uh, they are stealing the sensitive information from the company or the personal data and they are generating the profit by selling those information sometimes they ask for a ransom money and uh, sometimes they encrypt your data and then they send you a text in your drive or in your uh, email or anything like that they contact you okay let's start bidding and we will decrypt your data we will provide you uh, a software to decrypt that data okay and the next one is okay hacking works is cracking okay very interesting <clears throat> hacking mean hacking hack is hacking is a very wider term and uh, in my like uh, how i understand is uh, it's a stealing it's a doing any activity and stealing the data and information without the knowledge of the owner of that computer or stealing the password or creating a boot or pretty much any act that breaches someone's privacy without their knowledge or consent so that's that would be referred as the hacking and uh, there's another term that is a cracking well the cracking is really different than the hacking because the cracking is totally different thing and cracking uh the person who is doing is cracking in my opinion he is more uh he has a wide knowledge and uh, he has more knowledge uh than the hacker because he is going to do some program He's going to crack the thing so he is going to do some scripting he is a key going to generate a key like a key generator a patch for uh, any Adobe products 
so he's going to do a trick with the software by patching it that the software is thinking that uh, the key is correct even though the key is not correct so such type of thing is called cracking so let's start next okay category of the cyber crimes there are a lot of categories of the cyber crimes hacking cracking phishing boost identity theft BYOD password and ransomware so we will describe that threats to cyber security okay the first threat is identity theft identity theft could be as a social security threat a financial threats uh, driving license medical insurance or any tax tax data so something is going to steal from all those and there are other identity theft thefts too so i'm gonna describe only these right now the phishing stealing someone data without any information that the guy or the owner does not have information and uh, well in my in my opinion phishing is a tag that lay on trust we hold with colleagues and organizations so the scammers they have been experts sending email like this email is a very legitimate email and that email is really uh, a, a real a real email from any person or any colleague so usually they are going to do these things uh, the next one is hacking uh, the hacking i already there this is this is actually phase of hacking perform the first step the first phase uh, is in the first phase what the hacker do they actually do the identity they they try to gain more and more uh, gather more and more information about the target and in the scanning uh, they scan and other this is also pre-attack phase so hacker code utilize uh, the whole are uh, in your network so they scan the holes in the network so the next is uh, privileges escalation uh, occur when the cyber criminal obtain access to more resources or functionality than they are normally are allowed to keep control this can often uh, go unnoticed by the uh, administrators so maintain control the maintain control uh, they have the they have the air rootkit a software tool that uh, they they write a script so it can be demanding process try to detect a toolkit but it's not impossible the toolkit is actually they remain in your system and you never know so they are in your system so the next one is covering tracks and backdoors so they always wipe out all the logs and all the information when they logged in, when they logged out, and uh, all those information. I'm running out my time. Okay, boots. Boots is uh, boots is an older term, but still, I think the boots is a big threat to the cybersecurity. Like, the boot is not going to do itself. You can, you can, you can search for the passwords and all those things. Like, uh, I can give you a quick example. Like, the for the Sony did in 2014 when the Sony they put a file name, the passwords, ID and password, the Excel file on their network. So such file, you know, if you have like thousands files, so it's very hard for a hacker to go every files and uh, look into it and they put a very straight file on their network which says the id and password and uh, you know it's a unique name so okay so the next one misuse of implied privileges this is happened this is credential using the credential the other person this is happened a lot like i'm working in a company where sometime i was uh, in a discussion and uh, some software you know require I, i'm gonna give you a one example some software you know they require only one license and what happened you need another person to work on the same software for half hour so what do you do are you gonna buy a new if you are a small business you are not gonna buy and in courtesy you are going to give that uh, the other employee credential to that uh, person so every employee has a different privileges different controls and has access list so when you do this so that's that's my opinion 
you need to write some this is you have provided the information to the another employee so he can log in and work for half hour and after the same day you need to change the password and that's that's it okay the next uh, is bring your own device this is very common problem like the people go to the vacation and when they come back from the vacation they usually show you your picture your trip your everything they put the insert in the usb drive and just on double click and open it the first thing when you plug in the usb drive do not double click on it i know this is that this is the older uh, way of uh, tricking people but do not double click always right click and hit open sometimes they put the exe file on the startup so do not put the double click and the second thing is always scan the drive and i'm gonna uh, what do i do over here i put a policy when you brought a new device into a company you need to bring that device to me before attaching to the computer even though you can disable the usb drive to the computer but that's uh, in some cases that doesn't work so the uh, and there is another thing the 90 well that's it so you need to put a policy that every you you need to scan the device and then you can go up. and the next thing is the password cracking the password cracking is the simply the stealers always try to put the password in a different ways like uh, if you are showing your a lot of things if you are showing your uh, uh, identity you are showing your uh, uh, like uh, your date of birth and all those things so they put the combination different combination to put the password and they keep trying so put a password that is not cracked easily and there are other ways to crack i'm running out of time so that's why it's just five minutes okay the ransomware ransomware is that's the uh, i defined this has happened to with me i was working in a company i came in the morning 10 o'clock and i saw all the network uh, files are encrypted and uh, there was a file they were asking for 600 dollars to decrypt those file and when i went back to my servers they were taking the backups the files went through the backups and they infected my backup servers but luckily what i do usually i do i have two to three servers where i do the backups and they automatically shut down i turn them on daily so that's that's what i say on those two three servers so i backed it up but it took me one day and you know a lot of resources time and everything okay next thank you so much and uh, I'm, go I'm going to get the 12 minutes and I uh, hope it will be fine. Thank you so much.